In this video, we're going to talk about how to use the ANSI log table. So we have a simple example here where we are told that to use the ANSI log table to find a number whose log is 4.8625. So the log of the number is already given. We have to find the ANSI log. We start off by writing out the log of the number. So the log of the number is 4.8625. The next step to take is to change this number to powers of 10. First step, we'll take this number here before the point and convert it to power of 10. So we'll say 10 to the power of 4. And then we'll now say times 10. Then we'll pick every number after our decimal point and convert it to the power of 10. So this is 0 0.8625. Now, if we're looking to find the ANSI log of a number, the one we are most interested in is the number after the point. So this number is also interested in this number of 0 0.8625. So let me show you the ANSI log table. The ANSI log table has numbers from 0 0.00, 0 0.01, 0 0.02. This is the column you pick numbers from. This is 0 0.01. 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, on up to 0 0.99. You can pick numbers from 0 0.00 to 0 0.05 to 0 0.06 to 0.99. This is the last number that I can pick on the anti-log table. In case of how to use this side of the anti-log table, this one that has 0 is 1, 2, 3, 4. Don't worry, I'll show you along the way. So let's go back to our working sheet. Remember, those numbers there contains 0, 0.0 something. Our interest, if we are looking for the anti log, is pick the first two numbers. The first two numbers here is 0 0.86. Now we need to also take note of the next two numbers. So after 0 0.86, we have 2 and 5. We'll go to our table. So we'll look for 0 0.86. So this is 0.86. Next up is to pick under 2 on these columns here. Let me zoom out so that you see it properly. So if you notice, under 2 is this 0, this 1, this under 2. So we'll find 0.86 under 2. So this is 0.86 under 2. The number we have is 7278. So you could have to go to our working sheets and write it down. The number we have is 7278. And then remember, we have another number after 2. That number is 5. So our next step is to go back to our log anti log table. They will pick the next number from these columns here, these new ones here, this one, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, this one's here. Remember, our next number is 5. We're picking our next number from this column here. This is the column, and we're going to under 0.86. So on that point, 0.86, we have 8. Okay, so we'll go back to our working sheet and add up 8 here. 8 plus 8 is 16, so we have 6, carry 1. Then plus the 1 here, 7 plus that 1 is 8, and then 2 plus. So this is it. The first thing you want to do is to put a point after the first number. This number becomes 7.286. Why? Why are we putting a point on this number? You want to make the number fall within the range of 1 to 10. That's your aim. So that if you write it here, it will look like 10 to the power of 4 times 7.286. So this is a standard form of a number. So if you must fly out, this number here becomes equal to 7.2860. So that means the antilog of this number is this. So we can just say if this number is x, then the anti log of x is what we found here. So this is the anti log of x. So this is how you use the anti log table to find the anti log of numbers. So thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You can also share with your friends too. It helps the channel a lot.